Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I just wanted to show you some of the steam engines that I've been working on. And this is the final design that I came up with and I'll just show you how it works so you can use it in your worlds as well. As you can see here we have an output of 147,000 stress units which should be enough for many factories. And we have nine steam engines that can be powered from this. So you have to and this is fully automatic as long as you keep this chest filled up. Now you can hook this up to your wood farm or maybe kelp block farm. I'll explain that at the end as well. But let me show you how I came up with this. So what I have here is the first design that I came up with. And this is fully automatic. There's no need for fuel or anything like that. This will work by itself. And all we need to do is put in a bit of work with this hand crank. And it should start powering itself. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this stressometer right here. And what we're going to notice is that when we start spinning this, this reading is going to max out. And then after a few seconds, it's going to come back down to about here. Right, and that is our sign to let go of the hand crank. So let's give it a go. We start spinning, you can see it maxes out. And then when it comes back down, we can let go. And you can see it's spinning by itself now. I'm not touching anything. But what's happening is the steam engine coming out of here. It's coming down here, spinning, and it's taking over our hand crank and it's powering itself now. Now this only gives 2048 and some of that is already being used by itself to power itself. And so we have 1920 stress units to play around with. Now I'm actually going to be using this as a replacement for the encased fans that were removed because this is a nice simple setup. It gives a fair bit of output. I think it's the same as about 32 cells on a windmill bearing. So this will be a nice replacement for that. But for the bigger factories that need powering, I came up with this design, which is essentially an extension of this. So I've used the same setup down here, as you can see, right, to get this thing started. And the 1920 stress units left over, I've used to power this mechanical arm and these three pumps leading into this burner right here, into these burners and the steam engine. So, you get it started in the exact same way. We start off by spinning this, but you'll notice if you try right now, it says overstressed. Right? That's because it's trying to power the entire machine at the same time. So, all you have to do is come here and flick this lever and turn this clutch on. Right? That's disconnected the rest of the machine. And now we can give this a spin. Just like before, reading maxes out, comes back down, and we can let go. Right, so same as before, we have 1920 stress units to play around with. And you can see this boiler is in passive state. We have two bars on the sides, one bar on the water and one bar on the heat. And that's how you know it's stabilized, so just make sure that's the case. You obviously need some goggles for that. And then once this has stabilized, what you can do is you can flick this lever right here and the rest should start working. So you can see the mechanical arm goes to work and starts fueling the burners and you can see the heat going up steadily until it goes up to level 9 and all the burners are lit up just like that so we'll keep refueling that and what you might need to do is come over here and reverse the direction of these pumps right here so we can spin this around spin this around spin this around and as the water comes up you see the water level also starts to increase level 3 level 4 and level 9 there we go now it's working at max capacity. And of course you can have some shafts coming out of here from these steam engines. And you have a working steam engine. Nice and simple. Now for the fuel, here I've used oak logs. But as I'll show you right now, you can use different options. For example, oak planks actually give the same amount of time. If you see at the top, it said 14 seconds and oak logs also give 14 seconds. Right, so that this farm will work with oak logs and oak planks, right? So you can hook this up, extend this chest a little bit, maybe put a chute here from your farm and have the input coming into here. Or you can have a go at replacing it with kelp blocks. Kelp blocks give uh, 200 seconds, so it won't use as much kelp blocks. So that's also an option. Or if you have a blaze farm, you can have that as an input. Or if you have infinite lava source, you can fill up some buckets and have that running for a thousand seconds. 
very very nice so it's up to you which fuel source you use all you have to do is hook it up to this and once you've turned everything on you'll get 147,000 stress units for as long as you need now we have some water sources down here they don't have to be at this level you can put them further down into the ground and if you're having trouble walking at this level you can just place some hot slabs so you don't fall into the water all the time one here one here and one here now this world is available for you to download down in the description so you so you can come down here and make a schematic using the emerald block here and the emerald block here if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to find out when i post newer videos see you then thank you very much for watching and have a good day